Where are you, Jerry? Don't get mad. Don't tell me not to get mad, Jerry. You know what? I don't want to know. Just, just stay where you are, Jerry. I, I can't believe you're doing this now when I need you most. Jerry. No, Jerry. Right now, all I know is that I'm giving birth without my husband next to me. We were still going to talk about this. Why are you so impulsive? The doctor is sure it's no more than two hours and I'll be going into final labour. Where are you, Jerry? I'm in Ashton. Oh! Why am I not surprised? If you're not here tonight when this baby is born, consider yourself homeless. I will be there. It's just an hour's drive. Hello? Sorry, is this my car? I thought it might be. I was just... What are you doing in it? Well, you see, my, my wife is in labor and I really you needed need to... to steal a car. What? No. I, I was just... Sitting in a stolen car. Listen, what I'm trying to say is my wife is in labor and I really need to get to her. Well, drive. What are you doing out here tonight on your own? Well, uh, I went to see a guy for a business deal. Man, if that took off. It didn't? No, but it could. While your wife was in labor. It was a good deal, okay? Okay. Never mind. So, where are you from? Here. Here as in Ashton? Yep. Are you heading to Riversdale? I have a package to deliver. Really? What? None of your business. But the fact is I've actually got two packages now that you're here. That's where you're heading to, aren't you? Yes, I'm heading to Riversdale. See? Two. You can carry on driving. I'm going to take a nap.
was that? What was what? That noise. What noise? I didn't hear anything. There it is again. Stop the car. Jerry. What? Unlock the boot for me, please. It's not what it looks like. It's exactly what it looks like. I'm a cop. Then why is he tied up in your trunk like that? I don't have to explain. Just help me time down. Jerry! Jerry! Well, it looks like we're walking. Come on. Come on. Move. Don't even think about it. Jerry, calm down! Just wait! Thank you. Thank you very much. Not a problem. So, what are we gonna do about him? When we get to Riversdale, we can go to the police station. I don't have time for that. My wife's in labor, I need to get to her. I'll drop you off at the hospital, and then I'll go to the station. Okay. Thank you. So now was crazy. Yes. Thanks for helping me escape. By the way, I'll look it up when I get the chance. Yeah, cool man. Oh, by the way, my full name is Jerry Smith, for the police report. Okay. For my wife Julie. Oh yeah, Julie. Just round the corner through the door, room five. Thank you very much. Okay. All units be advised to take it down. Quentin Lee has escaped, lost in driving old steady Benz Grey into Riversdale. Possible hostage. It was me. I was with him. He's outside. Are you sure, sir? Yes, come on, follow me. Possible location of Quincy, please stand by. Last seen location, Riversdale Hospital. Suspect, Quincy. Vehicle, grey old Mercedes-Benz. Sir, please have to stay here. We need to get a statement from you. I can't get caught up with this, my please wife. Please stay here.
Can I go now? Sure. Just be available if we need to call you. Okay. Can you tell me if my wife has given birth yet? What's her name again? Julie Smith. Yes. Yes, he has. Okay. I'm not going to understand. Jerry, love. Come meet your baby boy. Quentin has been telling me all about how you met him next to the road and how you helped him. Yes, Jerry. I was just telling your wife that if it wasn't for you, I would still be tied up and trapped. Like in a jail cell. But the things that you said and you did for me, the kindness you showed me, I told her it could only come from someone that loves and honors his family. After all, the decisions we make today affect us tomorrow. Well, I better be off. Um, wouldn't, wouldn't you like to come over for supper sometime? Yes. No. Quentin is leaving town. Of course. How could I forget? Sorry, maybe some other time? <laughs>